Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to draw the scapular bone first the coastal surface then the dorsal surface so let's start so here first I am going to make the chromium process then the coracoid process and carry on so let's start first here I am going to rough I am going to make a rough diagram here for examination purpose you can make it your in, in your examination hall very fast I'm not going to skip any step so watch from starting to the end without skipping any step of this video so let's start here this is the chromium process first you have to make a little bit chromium process erases this is not good so this is the chromium process after that little equal and downward then this is the clavicular facet and after the downward and that's it after that from down mark a downward then here draw this is a chromium process and here draw the coracoid process coracoid process is little smaller than the chromium process so this is the coracoid process and, and this is like this and this is the glenoid cavity and after that move downward, downward and this is it after that continue with the coracoid process make a small notch after that upward and draw the superior border and this is superior angle downward and then this is not very sharp so make it smooth and after that from so this is not a fine good line so this is like this something and uh, this is like this okay and uh, this is your uh, coastal surface of the scapula and now i'm going to make the dorsal surface so for dorsal surface let's start with the superior border this is the superior border the second one is perfect this is the superior border and uh, Now start the spinous process. So this is the spinous process and it ends with the chromium process. So this is the chromium process and in lower part there is a triangular like crust in the spinous process and then it meets with the chromium process and then show you a little coracoid process and then there is a glenoid cavity and after that and with the and with this so so it is it so here i am done with the both surface of the scapula and uh, I'm going to show the attachments so first we start from here this is the acromion process and here is deltoid right here deltoid and this is coracobrachialis coracobrachialis and the short head of biceps brachii and uh, here here is the long head of triceps brachii long head of triceps brachii and uh, here is pectoralis minor pectoralis minor muscle and uh, after that this is the scapularis fossa subscapularis fossa here is subscapularis muscle so let's start with the subscapularis muscle and it is like this this is the subscapularis muscle subscapularis and here is the serratus anterior 
a very important muscle and uh, it uh, is like this this is the first digitation this is the second and third and here is the fourth to eighth digitation of the serratus anterior and in this diagram this is the supraspinatus muscle this is a supraspinatus fossa and this is the infraspinatus fossa this is a supraspinatus muscle and here is the infraspinatus muscle like this okay so it is it and uh, this is the infraspinatus muscle and uh, this is trapezius this is our trapezius and uh, from lower from this triangular part it is deltoid this is deltoid and in the this coracoid process there is a coracobrachialis and short head of biceps brachii i'm right here and this is a long head of triceps brachii and uh, here is this is the levator scapuli this is a levator scapuli and this is a rhomboid and this is the levator scapuli so near the root of the spinous process there is rhomboid minor muscle and from the root of the spinous process to the inferior angle there is a muscle called rhomboid mesa and here this is teres minor this is teres minor and this is teres mesor here is the teres mesor and here is the latissimus dorsi and this is the 